What's up guys? So um in today's video I'm just gonna upgrade a hard drive for the original Xbox soft modded. Um so I had to move some of the cores around back here and so I could get more um accessible space over here. Um so what I have so far is that at the um IDE cable, the um it's already installed in there. It's just I gotta um now I'll just like go ahead and set it up with the hard drive and stuff so I could go ahead and do the cloning um process. So right now this is um what is this is a hundred and fifty gigab wait where's it at a hundred and sixty gigabytes it's right there yep uh, um SDD um one hundred and sixty gigabyte um hard drive well I mean I'm so used to saying hard drive so I know it's an SDD um drive but I just call it a hard drive a lot so I'm used to saying that's a habit and I already have the um converter installed on there already so all I gotta do is just have the um Y the Y Molex um Y splitter um set up so I have that too and I also have the um converter the female converter for the original um Xbox controller port just so because I don't have the like all my um controllers for the original Xbox is off brand so I'm just gonna use a keyboard like just uh, use a keyboard during the um Linux Linux um cloning you know the like hard drive on um, swap process so I'm gonna go ahead and close this in so right now I just have my controller plugged in. My, yeah, I just have that plugged in right now. So uh, I'm gonna use yeah. Um, what you really need when you finna hard like um swap the hard drives out um and clone it. Like I said, um, you're just gonna need a another a bigger size hard drive because that's basically the main purpose of trying to upgrade your hard drive, trying to get bigger space and more space available. So you want a um bigger size hard drive. Doesn't matter the size. Like I can't say because I don't I don't know much information about one terabytes and above that. Um, on installing on the original Xbox, I'm not really used to that. I don't know much of that information because I only study the information for like, um, like space like 160 and 120 like you know below. So yeah, but yeah, you're gonna need a um adapter. The um, set a I don't know, I forgot what it's called, but you're gonna need this adapter. Um you could always watch search up JC Rocky um video here explain it better than I can. But I'm just showing you the things you need in the, um my process of trying to upgrade it. So yeah, you're just gonna need a converter, the um a hard drive, a Y Molex um a Molex Y splitter, um and a converter if you don't have an official brand on um, original Xbox controller. So yeah, and then you also gonna need a um, AD wire um IDE cable. Um, this is supposed to, I guess this is supposed to um help the um, like since for a bigger size drive it help it be more manageable on an original Xbox. So yeah, and that's it right there. And I will um edit this video so I'll probably put more clips together and stuff. So yeah, but yeah, this is steps the things you need is. Converter, hard drive, Y Molex splitter, um, another original Xbox controller converter to um, a female USB port if you don't have the official um, original Xbox controller brand, and an AD wire IDE cable. And I might be saying it wrong. Um, you can say in the comments if I'm saying it wrong and just point that out. And yeah, but yeah, um, so that's all the stuff you need. So, um, one more thing I forgot to cover was that you want to set the main, the sock hard drive to um, master, set the, the hard drive that you're trying to upgrade to, to slave. And then, um, yeah, I just want to cover that. And so right now I'm rock, um, I'm booting up uh, JC Rock the Linux, the Linux software that he has available for people to use for upgrading their original Xbox hard drive. So, you want to, um, if you have a soft mod Xbox, because I already skipped through like one step, but just go to the video and you'll see the full steps. Um, so you want to go to selective. And, um, I'm using a keyboard, so you want to press, if you, if you use a keyboard, since I have the, um, converter um, right here. Um, if you using a keyboard, you want to press X if you're going to select the option. So you want to go to X for number two, selective, um, Select partition, uh, press enter, and you um just since it's a stock since it's a stock hard drive, I'm going to use CNE since it's my first time upgrading a hard drive. So since you're starting off with a um stock um 
since you were starting off with a stock hard drive and upgrading it to a um a better um better hard drive, you're going to start off with um C and E and J C Rocky. He explains the rest of the options. So go on it. Go on. Um, okay, F is capped at uh, 137. Since I have 120 gigabytes on my hard drive, because I had to switch out, I had to swap out hard drives because um, I know in the first clip, I don't know if I mentioned in the first clip, yeah, I had 160. Yep, I had 160 gigabyte, but that's not working for some reason. So I'm gonna use a 120 gigabyte um hard drive instead. So you wanna go to F um occupies all available space. Boom. Let's see. How do you? All right. Hold up. Uh, I accidentally got it kind of mess up. So you want to for the keyboard users, you want to press space to um select. So press enter. Confirm format. Yes, sir. Gonna confirm that. Boom. And now I'm just the. Um, slave HD is being formatted. Please wait. So what I'm gonna do is just wait for it, and it should um work. So yep, it's gonna load up. So it's gonna take a um, it's gonna take a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and um end this clip of the video. So um, I I went through the whole process and stuff, and hopefully if you didn't understand anything from uh Rocky video, you could try probably take some notes from this one too. So yeah um. I locked the on um, slave hard drive already. Right there. Status locks. Um where is that model number? H no it's, yeah, HDB, which is on um, slave hard drive and I already locked it and stuff, so it's all it's all good and set up and stuff. And that's everything. So alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just um turn off the Xbox and see if it works. Alright guys, so I put the whole Xbox back together. Um I'm gonna go ahead and load the power up. Put the TV up. Oh, never mind. A little bit. Okay, that's the Xbox. So myself, my original Xbox. So as you see, um, already. So I did a swap for the. Oh, the, the game is in there. <laughs> my bad. My bad, guys. Uh, took that out. All right. I just took the game out, so it's gonna load up. Come on, come on, hurry up. <laughs> Alright, so guys, um, it was at, like, I started off at, um, one gigabyte, no, I forgot, but, yeah, as you see, 112 gigabytes, so most of the space went on the F drive, which is good, because at first this was at zero, it, was, it just said zero, zero all across, so now I have 112 gigabytes plus some megabytes and kilobytes and all that, but yeah, um, so it worked, guys, so as you see, yeah, working all that and stuff, so, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if I was a little bit confusing, my bad. Um, if you want, like I said again, you could go watch JC Rocky Five. His um his video. I will put the link in my description. Um, you guys could go watch his video and um see the guide and stuff. And if you guys don't understand some parts in his video, you can come back to my video and um take some notes from it. I guess so. Yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will upload more. All right. Bye.